Hi everyone, welcome back to Online Classroom Jekutio. Today we are going to look at heat flow and thermal equilibrium. There are three different ways that heat can flow. Before we look at how heat flow through those three ways, let's recall what is the key concept of this chapter. The one very important key concept of the whole chapter 9 is that heat flow from hot region to the cold region. For example, a plate of ice cream that you left on the counter in the kitchen. What happened to the ice cream after 10 minutes? They will start to melt. Why? Because heat flow from hot region to cold region. Heat flow from the surrounding of that ice cream, which is the kitchen, towards the ice cream. Why? Ice cream is colder and the surrounding is hotter. How about if you leave a kettle on the stove, turn on the stove with water inside the kettle? The water will start to boil. Why? Same concept. Heat will flow from hot region to cold region, from the fire on the stove to the kettle to the water inside the kettle. So what are the three ways that heat can flow? Conduction, convection, and radiation. What are the differences? What are they? Let's look at them one by one. For conduction, it is the process of heat transfer from hotter regions to colder regions through a solid medium. Here is the keyword, solid. So in this example, when you heat up a pot of water, what is a solid here? Is it the pot or is it the water? It's actually the pot. So how does heat transfer from the bottom of the pot throughout the whole pot? It is called conduction. What is conduction? It is when the particles receive heat energy and they start to vibrate and collide with one another more frequently and transfer the heat to the whole medium. For example, if you look at the picture or the diagram on the left, all right, recall that in solid, the particles are arranged very closely to each other. So when the particles here is heat up, they receive energy that makes them more excited and they will start to vibrate even more. When they vibrate more, what happens is they will collide. They will collide with the particles next to them and hence transfer the whole energy throughout the whole medium. So heat transfer in solid through conduction. When the one particle start to vibrate, collide with the next one, and the, then the next one start to vibrate more and collide again with the one that is next to it, and heat is transfer. There's a heat flow. And remember, the keyword conduction happens in solid. How about convection? If conduction happen in solid, convection happen in fluid. What is fluid? Anything that can flow. That is liquid and gas. And same thing that transfer from hotter region to colder region. So in this part of water, what is fluid here? It is the liquid in the pot, which is water. So what happened here is I would like to bring your attention to this arrows. The cold fluid is symbolized by the blue color arrow and the red arrow means hot fluid so this hot fluid at the bottom of the pot receive heat energy from the pot and they start to expand when they expand they become less dense and hence they will rise to the top of the water and then the cold fluid they are more dense compared to the hot ones and hence they will move downwards the continuous movement where the hot fluid expand go up and then the cold fluid are more dense and then they go down up and down up and down continuously like a cycle that is called convection current so once again convection is heat flow in fluid that is liquid or gas if it is a solid 
it is conduction. If it is liquid or gas, it will be convection. How about this? When you are cooking a pot of water and you are standing beside the stove, do you feel hot? I would believe so. So how did that heat transfer? It is transferred through radiation. What is radiation? Radiation transfers heat without any medium. It does not need any solid. It does not need any liquid or gas. It can propagate through an empty space or vacuum. It doesn't need anything. If it is empty space, there's no gas, no solid, and no liquid, radiation can still happen. The types of surface, temperature, and total surface area of an object will influence the rate of heat flow. So remember, radiation do not need any form of medium. So, summary, conduction, convection, and radiation are three different ways that heat can flow. And for conduction, it happens in solid. Convection happen in liquid or gas. Radiation do not need any medium. It is really simple, isn't it? I will see you in the next video. I hope you enjoy this video. Bye! If you have learned something new from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.